What's up everybody, it's me Blake316 here with a new video for you guys and in this video I'm going to take you back. I am actually going to be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for the Xbox One. Now this game was originally released in 2016 and granted I bought it on release day but I never actually really put time into Infinite Warfare until 2019 and I'm pretty much going to talk about this game, how it's aged and you know what, maybe it was probably overlooked. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying I know a lot of people right now are probably playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. For me personally, so far I've currently passed on the game. I'm probably going to pick up the game, but I'm in real no rush, mainly because I don't know, like I'm in no rush to buy a new Call of Duty game. I've been, I've been playing Call of Duty literally since Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the Xbox 360, and I've been buying them every year. And for some reason, I really just don't want to buy this one this year. But I do find it quite interesting how Call of Duty is always one of those games that gamers love to hate, but always end up buying. And I even find it even more funnier how people who are currently playing the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare, saying how the campaign, oh man, this campaign is like top 15 best looking games this generation. And those type of comments specifically, uh, specifically come from Call of Duty haters. Because if you're somebody like myself who has been playing Call of Duty every single year, you would know that Call of Duty campaigns always look good visually. I can't recall a time where Call of Duty did not look good uh, visually. For example, Infinite Warfare looks really good visually three years later. Now, I know one of the reasons why I didn't really put much time into this game, and uh, like a lot of other people, if you noticed, this was also when they released uh, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And me personally, I remember specifically that when I bought this game, I went straight to the Remastered. I cared nothing about Infinite Warfare. I might have played an hour of it. I remember it being decent, but I was like, yo, straight to Infinite, uh, straight to Modern Warfare Remastered multiplayer. That's all I cared about. And then as time came around, it's like, you know what? I want to play this game because one, I never really put time into it. I kind of want to feel like I got my money's worth. And two, I want to play a Call of Duty game, but I don't want to buy the new Modern Warfare. So I, I play this. And I got to say, this campaign is really good. And it's also funny how people are saying uh, the new Modern Warfare campaign is like, one of the best ever. Like, let's be real here. Stop. You're kind of, you're Call of Duty for the most part, nine times out of 10, for the exception of maybe Ghost and World at War. They've always had good campaigns, but this one in particular is really good. I like it because. It's your average shooter, but then it also has these aspects where you go into outer space and you're just like Top Gun, like I'm flying in outer space, uh, like I'm fighting my ship, I'm flying my ship and there's gunfights in the air. And I thought that aspect of the game was really good. And I thought it was a really good balance between the two. Because for me personally, another reason why I didn't really want to play the new Call of Duty, I kind of got burnt out on Call of Duty first person shooters. I was like, I was, I've been playing them for so long and I not even Call of Duty, just first person shooters in general. I got so burnt out on them from playing them so much from Halo to Call of Duty, etc. And I was like, that's another reason why I didn't really not only get into this one, but get into the new one. But I felt with this game, there was a really good balance. Not only was I playing uh, first person shooters, but I was playing the flying missions that I thought were really good. And like I said, that was really fun. I beat this game on veteran. Um, it's not the first Call of Duty game I beat on veteran. I beat, I, like I said, I've been playing this game for such a long time, AKA I'm also the best Call of Duty player in the world. But uh, yeah, I beat it on veteran and I had a really fun time. I also noticed in this game that there was actually boss fights almost. Like there were these huge robots that specific guns you had to kill them with. And it was like really boss fights. I thought this Call of Duty was definitely different than all the other previous Call of Duties and even the ones after because I did play Black Ops 4 and I did buy the, the what's the, the World War II one. Uh, but yeah, this was really good campaign. Uh, the story was pretty decent, but overall the visuals were, visuals were really good. The gameplay was really good. I never got bored bouncing from first person shooter action to uh, flying airplanes. I thought it was really fun. Another aspect with this game, a lot of people it's like the multiplayer too. And it's hard to like the multiplayer when you compare it to the remastered. But the multiplayer is really good as well. Yes, there's wall climbing and double jumping. But it wasn't as bad, for example, the uh, Advanced Warfare. That multiplayer, I didn't like. It was too, like, it was too futuristic. Uh, but this one... 
It was really good. I thought it, I had fun. I liked the upgrades of getting special weapons when you get a certain amount of kills and whatnot. It wasn't terrible. Um, another thing I really liked about this game, and I think a lot of people don't talk about or didn't appreciate, the zombie mode in this game is by far, in my opinion, one of the best zombie modes I've ever played in Call of Duty. I would probably pair this up to maybe what was the one that was released with Modern, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the snow one. This one, it's like an 80s theme where one of your guys are like dressed up looking like LL Cool J. Another guy is dressed up like looking like the guy from, uh, uh, what's that movie? Back to the Future. I, uh, M Michael J. Fox is his name. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge Back to the Future fan. But I, the, the Zombies mode is really freaking fun. I like it a lot. I like it how it has 80s music, has like an 80s theme with colors and stuff. Uh, I thought it was really fun, and I I was literally finding myself playing it for hours and hours and hours. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and me personally, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never been a huge fan of zombies mode. I don't I, I can care less about zombies mode, but I figured, being that I was playing this game, I was like, let me try everything. I tried the multiplayer, it was good. I tried the zombies, it was really good. I tried the campaign, it was really good. I had a lot of fun with this game and playing it in 2019, three years later when. A lot of people probably won't even to totally completely forgot this game existed. I personally forgot this game existed. I, I always thought it was Infinite Warfare. It's Infinite Warfare. Um, but yeah, and like I said, it was definitely overshadowed by the, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And granted, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered is a classic game. I'm probably going to play that next. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's definitely a really good Call of Duty. If you pass it up, definitely revisit it. If uh, if you think it got uh, you know the, the bad vibes, try it out for yourself. So many people who are out there who, are like, who go too much on the word of other people and kind of buy into the hype. Sometimes you need to experience things yourself. Me personally, I don't really like to play too many betas. I don't really like to look in too much details of upcoming trailers and maybe here and there just get an idea of what the game is going to be. But I don't really, I don't, I try not to get too much uh, thrown into it or with an idea of how the game's gonna be until I actually play it myself. Uh, granted, that's kind of risky because granted, you can get burned sometimes and play some bad games, spend money on bad games. But that's my personal opinion. But if you are somebody who, who needs somebody's opinion, this is my opinion. This is a good game playing Call of Duty and Warfare. And it's crazy. I'm talking about it in 2019 when nobody's probably even thought twice about it. But anyway, it's me, Blake316, going back a little, talking about Call of Duty and Warfare. Uh, make sure to subscribe for future videos. And for some reason, I'm really interested to go back and revisit that Call of Duty Ghost. And I remember that game. I remember that being bad as well. But for some reason right now, I just want to play it. I might do that and probably make a video about that too. But anyway, subscribe for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff. Until next time, peace.